Okay, and here we are. We're all set up. Welcome, everybody. So like the title says, we are finally going to be playing Mother 1, or as it's known here, Earthbound Beginnings. I've been talking about starting this trilogy for a little bit. I'm all set up. I don't exactly have a retro controller for my Switch, so I'm using uh, a Genesis controller plugged into it. That's kind of the same. Close enough to an NES. I don't really like using the Pro Controller for uh, classic games. Okay, let me adjust the volume. I know that the first game in this series is known to be a, have a little bit of crust, but I still want to play it. I don't want to skip it. And the title just says Earthbound here because that's what they had for the old prototype. 89, 1990, huh? Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna take this slow. I've always wanted to play this trilogy. People have been very excited since I talked about streaming it. We're gonna take it slow. We're gonna level ourselves up. And hopefully we can do this. I know that it can be confusing at times. Uh, what button do I press? A, okay. Usually it's start for NES. What's this boy's name? His name is Ninten. He's not Ness. Ness is the protagonist of, um, Earthbound or Mother 2. Do this. I'm gonna go with the canon names. It's funny because he's called Ninten, like Nintendo. This girl's name. Okay. Chat says she's called Anna. Just one N. I'm gonna pick the canon ones. This boy is Lloyd. Hang on a second. It is here. Thank you for the sub there, Virtual Dolphin. I appreciate it. I'm very excited to do this. Unfortunately, like, I'm starting a little later in the day because it's just been like a heat wave, so I can't fall asleep at night very well. There we go. And this boy's name is actually Teddy, which is awesome because we like Teddies on this chat. Alright, spelt this way. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is, of course, Teddy Ursa's. As in, like, a, a cookie shaped like Teddy Ursa's head. That's what we'll put in. Teddy Ursa, I can't fit anything else. I could put CK like cookie, but we all know what it'll mean. We'll just put this. Ninten, Anna, Lloyd, Teddy, and my favorite food is Teddy Ursa cookies. Not the actual bear, don't worry. Don't worry. Is this okay? Yes. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow covered a small country town in rural America. I'm gonna turn it up. At that time, a young married couple vanished mysteriously from their home. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, as sudden as he left, George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done, but he began an odd study all by himself. As for Maria, his wife, she never returned. All right, then. Uh, do I press anything on the screen? I do. 80 years have passed since then. All right, we're just jumping right ahead to the 80s and the 90s where everything was radical and cool. Okay, let's figure out my controls now. Hang on. Who are you talking to? Okay, I can run. Wow, I can diagonal run. Alright. This place is not on the map. Which button on this controller functions as select? Okay, that does. I have telepathy, all my stats are five. Okay. It's a cool looking room. I played so many indie games that have done like, tried to replicate NES Mother 1. I think Yume Niki has a dream world that's just like this too. Check. No problem. Uh, PSI. Telepathy. Nintendo tried telepathy. Nothing happened. I just got psychic powers. I did know that about this trilogy. The protagonists just do. Okay. 
the lamp draws near. Well, okay then. I don't seem to have any PSI. I recognize this melody. I feel like I've heard like a bunch of remixes of this and, it, and it's used in like the background of people's YouTube videos. Lamp suffered damage of five. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Fix my seat. I'm gonna lean over here. Nice. You win! Ain't that great. Okay. Oh. Is the house okay? I don't think the house is okay. Hang on. No, come back. Stop moving. Brother, I'm so scared. The lamp seems to be alive. I guess I better do something about that. Alright, let me do this. I mean, yeah, there's definitely some of this game's music in Smash Brothers as well. Hang on, I'm just adjusting my seat. How's the audio sound? Good? Because it's really hot, I have my fan going on the side, so I just want to make sure you guys don't hear that. Or worried about the audio desyncing, because I'm just kind of trying out some new settings today. Sometimes in the recording, the audio will just kind of like slightly hiccup every now and then. Not a single person complains about it, but I... I I wanted to see if I could do something about it. Alright. I don't have any items. I have a cash card. I don't think that's for battling, though. I'm assuming check is like a scan attack. I don't really need to do that. Don't hear a fan. Any kind of droning at all in the background, that's all. If it's making noise, I'll just smash it like this household appliance. Lamp suffered damage of three. This song gets reused in Earthbound. That's the one that gets used in YouTube. Okay. Oh, my brother, our house is falling apart. Boo hoo. All right, I'm gonna do something. This room? Help me. I guess this is my other sister. Come on. That's a doll. It draws near. All right, smash it, I guess. The first you start the game and all of a sudden a lamp is just coming to get you. This seems like the tutorial and I can only really regular attack, so I don't think I have to worry about doing much. Smash that. Hang on, I'm just going to increase my screen size a little bit. Smash that doll. Nintendo attacks. Smash. Smash. I guess that's the critical hit indicator. Doll doesn't move anymore. You win. Ninten advanced to the next level. Fight has increased by three. Speed has increased by three. Damn, that's a lot considering I started with five. Wisdom has increased by three. Strength has increased by three. What's the difference between fight and strength? I would assume they're the same thing. Force has increased by three. Maximum HP has increased by four. The phenomenon has stopped for the moment. Okay. I was scared to death. Oh wow, check out what's hidden inside the doll. Okay. Inside the doll, Ninten spotted an old music box. As the music box was wound up, a melody began to play. Something magical about that. Ninten remembered the tune. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. So, I have a melody indicator in the bottom right. I'm assuming I need to collect all those songs? Fight is critical chance. Okay, I never would have assumed that. So... I'm assuming Wisdom is Intelligence for, like, PSI attacks. What about Force? Is it, like, Magic Defense? Or something like that? Okay, and I guess... Wait, there's Offense, Fight, and Strength. There's, like, Castlevania, where your strength just determines your offense. I don't know. Okay. Okay. 
Are you my mom? Ninten, are you all right? Hey, Gad, what is happening to our house? I wish your dad were here now. Maybe. Telephone. Ninten, please get it. Ninten, grab the telephone. This is your dad. Well, it seems like a poltergeist. I'm not exactly sure how to... But your great-great-grandfather, or just great-grandfather, studied PSI. You might find something in the basement to help. But I left the basement key someplace. Can't remember exactly where. Anyhow, son, you are my only hope. It's time for you to go on a little adventure. And explore the potential of your powers. Powers not to be taken lightly. Ninten, go for it. But remember to come back home and check up on your family. Bye! Oh, phone me and I will save your progress. Call me whenever you want. Slam. Alright. Maybe I should save right now. This is your dad. I've transferred $50 into your account. Well, damn. That's pretty nice. After the amount you've spent, the balance is $50. Spend your money wisely. Well, next level requires 18 for Ninten. By the way, do you want to save? Yes. Okay, but I was thinking of going to sleep now. I've saved your progress so far. Good night. Continue. Just like your mom, you never want to stop. Please don't push yourself too hard. Slam. Okay. Ninten, are you alright? Egad, what's happening to our house? You're saying the same thing. I wish your dad were here now. He said call whenever he want, whenever I wanted, and then he's just like, oh, I'm going to sleep now. Smash Ultimate has a trophy of this game. Well, Smash Ultimate didn't have trophies. I think you mean stickers or spirits. It's just the phone. Okay. You can converse with animals. Tell you a secret. Why don't you check me out? Bow wow. There on the dog's collar was the basement key. I definitely recognize this tune. Ninten got the basement key. How about this? Who are you talking to? Uh, check the doghouse. No problem. Okay, let me check a map here. My home... Um... I'm looking at this map and I... I it's kind of weird. Where are the roads? It, the, are the lines just like the rails or something? Well, before anything else, let's go in here. Hang on, what are you doing here now? I am Minnie. What can I do for you? Leave, take out. Okay, your item storage. See you later, brother. Take care. Um... Let me see here. How do I heal myself? Because I realized I didn't heal from the, the lamp battles. Do I just go back to, like, my bed or something? whole eight inventory slots to work with. Oh my god. As a Pokemon Gen 1 player, that scares me. The door is locked. Hold up. Wrong button. No. Come on. Alright, I just pressed that. Goods. Basement key. Nintendo unlocked the door and went inside. There's a battle in here. There's a rat! Kill it. Fight decreased by seven? Oh, damn. I guess I'm not getting critical hits. That's great. Hang on. If there's encounters in here, I better go back. Just talking to the mom again, heal? I tried to talk to her again, but the room did change after I left. Imagine you're going down to your basement and the rat tries to attack you. That's what happened to me one, uh, one time. Son of mine, you are braver than I thought. I can't let you go on a journey so famished. I'll cook Teddy Ursa. Okay, maybe I should have uh, put something different there after all. Teddy Ursa cookies. Eat your dinner and rest for the night. <laughs> oh no. Teddy Ursa shaped cookies. That's what we're eating. When you want to eat Teddy Ursa again, just come back here. Okay. <laughs> I have the worst mouse and rat stories. Yeah, for those that 
Oh, it's still locked? Seriously? Okay. Um, those that missed it some weeks back, I was going to, like, my kitchen to get a drink, and when I, um... Like, like a mouse ran out from the side of the fridge, and it tried to, like, run up my leg, and it just made me just, just leap backward, like, trying to kick it away. And that wasn't a very fun experience. That's what I imagine happens when, uh, we get into battle here. Nintendo opened the present. There was GGF's diary. Nintendo got GGF's diary. Hold up, what else is here? Who are you talking to? Oops. Check. Nintendo opened the present. There was Plastic Bat. Nintendo got Plastic Bat. Oh, encounter. Rat draws near. Alright. Utter, rat uttered dirty words? Oh, that's what it did. It's calling me names. The rat bit me. Dude, you gotta get like a- go to the hospital and get a shot or something. Oh, great. Nintendo opened the present. There was bread. I think the rats probably got to it first. Okay, um... How do I equip the bat I got? You don't have any friends to hand goods to. Set up? Uh, this seems to be for controls. Fight message speed? Hang on, I should probably put this to five. You just use it in goods, okay. Let me just make sure that stays like that. Nintendo equipped the plastic bat. Gave me a little bit more offense, I think three or four. Okay. How do I unequip it then? Rat suffered damage of six. Heck yeah. This sounds like a good way to spend my summer vacation. Just go down in the basement with a plastic bat and just start, like, attacking rats. Hang on, maybe I should kill some more of them. You can change it out once you attain a new weapon. Okay, well. I've never actually played, like, a full turn-based RPG on the NES before. This is- I think this technically might be my first. There we go. For any NES games, it was only really played like, you know, the Marios and the Zeldas. There we go. I didn't have very many RPGs growing up aside from like Pokemon. Come on, let's get some more here. I think I'm close to another level up anyway. Where the rats at? Where the rats at? There's the rats at. I suppose, like, Pokemon Gen 1 can kind of count it almost like an NES RPG in some ways, but y you know what I mean. Decreased my fight. The rat went quiet, you win. Alright. I guess I'm supposed to... I should probably check the diary. Uh, I've been forgetting to do that. Look. Great-grandfather's diary. It is old, ragged, and filled with entries. The diary was hard to read, but opened up to this page. Password. The one who lost the tail. The forgotten one. The ship that sails. Is that it? Hold up. I may have hit B. Did that close it? Lost the tail. Ship that sails. Nope, that's all. Son of mine, you're braver than I thought. I can't let you go on a journey so famished. Alright, we're having some Teddy Ursa cookies. Teddy Ursa cookies. Oh, uh, alright. Okay. When you want to eat Teddy Ursa again, just come back. Eat with Teddy Ursas as well. Hold up. Now, I've not played these games before. Don't spoil stuff unless I ask for it. When I'm lost, I'll, I'll check for stuff. 
No, I'm Mimi. Don't confuse me with Minnie. Okay. I am Minnie. What can I do for you? Take out. You haven't left anything with me. Let me check the phone here. This is your dad. I've transferred $10 to your account. After the amount you spent, the balance is $60. It still says zero. Well, next level requires three for Nintendo. By the way, do you want to save? Yes. Okay, but I was thinking of going to sleep. I've saved your progress. Good night. Continue. Please don't push yourself so hard. Well, that diary was not really much of a hint. I guess I just go on the road now. Who are you talking to? Ninten's house. Let's go for a ride. Stray dog draws near. Well, it's a stray dog, but it clearly has a collar. And is chained to something. Let's whack it. Stray dog bitten in ten. Damage of four. Am I gonna have to fight these along the way? I'm gonna have to go back and heal after, like, every battle. I probably should just put the basement key with the sister. There we go. Fight is increased by two. Speed is increased by two. Wisdom increased by two. I don't need to carry the basement key with me. Oh, nine HP. That's good. Oh, did my PP just double? I think it did. More than double. A wild level up there. Alright, let's go back again already. Mom, I was attacked by a dog and I don't want to go on an adventure anymore. It seems like leveling up doesn't give me the health benefits that come with it, so I have to heal into it. No hurt puppy. The puppy was attacking me. It's fine. When you want to eat Teddy or some cookies again. I'm Minnie. What can I do for you? Leave. Uh... I don't think I need to carry the diary around with me, do I? I'm assuming bread is just a health item. Yes, I will keep basement key with utmost care. Anything else you want me to keep? No. See you later, brother. Take care. All right. Okay, chat. I I, I just said, please don't tell me things unless I ask. I don't want to know when and where I need every item, please. Snake's attack. Suffer damage of one. Damage of nine. Ninten suffered damage of two. Well, there we go. The snake is dead. I'm killing things a lot faster now, aren't I? Okay. I don't think I can cross the water. Crow draws near. I don't have any other skills aside from attack, so there isn't much point in, like, checking or scanning them. I feel like I've heard this music before somewhere. Can't put my hand on it. My finger on it. Hmm. Anything down here? Nope. Oh, what can I do? What should I do? Where can I go? Who can I see? What should I do? What should I do? My little pippy is gone. If you're going to pa uh, pa dunk. please tell the mayor. Oh me, oh my. No problem. Can't seem to enter this house. Who are you talking to? Okay. A crow. A crow's got some heals for some reason. It started laughing. Hit it for five damage. The play here seems to be to attack every single enemy. Okay. In the Japanese version, the, cl uh, the crow has a lit cigarette when it was ported to GBA. Itoi kept the change as he'd quit smoking at the time. Okay. 
That's cool. So from what I understand from Mother 1, like, when this game was originally made on the NES, Nintendo was going to localize and release it, but they translated it, and then they just decided not to. And that prototype was leaked online, and essentially that leaked prototype became the basis for the Earthbound Beginnings release. Like, they did change the game a little bit. It's kind of, like, it's hard to explain. Mother is known for having some weird changes. Like, I think they changed uh, some enemy stats, some experience stuff in the translated version originally. In the Earthbound Beginnings version, I think they lessened uh, some super powerful enemy attacks. That's what I was told. I don't know exactly because I've not played these before. Here we go. Hit this here. Excellent. So, you're telling me that the crow lost, like, the cigarette um, back in the prototype and when it, when it wasn't even released. That's pretty cool. Excellent. Diagonal inputs. I like how we can see in the bottom of the screen flickering there. Hang on a second. Welcome to Pawduck. For those of you youngins that don't remember CRTs, um... Most NES games do kind of have that weird sprite load thing on the edges of the screens. Um, but, like, old TVs were cut off enough that you couldn't see that, so it wasn't a problem. Which is kind of funny when you think about it now. Did a poltergeist visit your house? It tore mine apart. Alright. I guess I can't enter every house. Nothing here. What about you? I like when I hold down the run button, everyone else moves fast as well when I'm standing still. That's weird. Don't tell me you've been south to the cemetery. Someone must be controlling the dead. Ugh, don't you just hate when that happens? 80s in America, I'm telling you. Okay, I can't do anything here. That's a hotel. The animals went mad and out of control. The dead became zombies and began attacking people. What can be done? How about you? The Canary Village is northwest from here. It's a nice place to visit, and admission is free. I'm guessing places with a sign is all I can enter, yep. The room rate at this hotel is so inexpensive. That's not where it stops being cheap, either. Welcome! $39 for a night. No, sorry to hear that. Please visit again. Whenever you get tired, just drop by or in. Can I just take stuff from here? No problem. Yeah, I suppose, looking at Ness, he does kind of remind me of, like, Charlie Brown a bit. I just called him Ness, damn it. Is Ninten. Completely different character. They just have very similar looking wardrobe. Nothing I can do in here. Okay. It is actually based on Peanuts to the point where some NPCs had to be changed when they were localizing it. Oh, really? That's interesting. Zombies may be anywhere in this town. Be honest, you're a zombie, aren't you? No. Are you really a human? Yes. It's amazing you came here. Okay. Oh, I got an encounter. The hippie draws near! I... This song... This song is a KK song in Animal Crossing. Listen, if a random hippie approaches me in the street, you better believe he's losing his kneecaps. He instigated this fight. I'm gonna finish it. The hippie flew into a rage? Not if I can help it. Not the hippies. He's trying to steal my Teddy Ursa cookies. Oh, and he hit me for a lot. Hang on. I killed him. 
If he regained all senses, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the dead was causing him to go wild. Not not that um magical plant he was smoking. Oh crap. Let's run. Stray dog bit me. Hang on. Is there a I probably should heal, but I don't know how to take money out of my card. Do I just check it? Nothing happened. Nintendo's cash card. Use it for all your banking needs. There's a department store. No problem. How may I help? Do you have something to return? No. Good. Thank you for shopping with us today. <laughs> Please insert your cash card. Oh, it's an ATM? I thought it was a CD stand. Goods. Can I help you? Withdraw. Your account shows a balance of 125. Uh... May as well take out 100, I don't know. Maybe I lose it? I should pro This is probably a good time to ask. If I die in battle, is it just game over? Or do I, like, go back to the last heal spot, like Pokemon? I don't actually know. Okay. You go back to your last save. Oh. Okay, that could be rough. If you die, you lose money. Which is it, then? Those are two different answers. <laughs> All right. If I go back to my last save and lose money, why wouldn't I just reload the save then? It's kind of weird. Anyways, I need to stop at the, the hotel. Talk. Welcome. 39 for the night? Sure. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Back to the location I last saved. That's 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 a different thing than the last time I saved. Please come back and see us again. Okay. Okay, you misworded it. All right, it's fine. Just trying to make sure I'm clear, because that was con confusing to read. What about you guys? The animals went mad and began to escape, so the zoo was locked. To eat, you'll find bread stale. But with its crumbs, you can mark your trail. You think I talk too much? Well, I d well, do I? Okay. The Gentleman Canary Village is my idol. I mentioned a cemetery to the south. What's this? Who are you here to visit? Uh... Sorry, no patient here by that name. Well, well, I'll treat each of you for 25 each. Okay, that might be a heal. You really don't need treatment? Oh well. I assume the hotel was gonna be for that. Haven't seen another thing here. I can't seem to check any of the dressers here. Hang on a second, I should go back to the shop. There was a second floor, wasn't there? Service. Drugs. Welcome, what can I sell you? Uh, asthma spray. Damn, I need some of those to live. Insecticide. Why does that cost more? Are you sure you don't need that? We'll come again. Oops, that's the downstairs, silly. Hospital just for statuses, okay. Sports goods. Welcome, what can I sell you? Plastic bat, slingshot, wooden bat. Uh, that cost 500, and I don't have that much. You don't need that, do you? Come see us when you do. Have to wait for Dad's allowance to kick in. There's food. Pet. Look for yourself, all the animals have escaped. Only the canary chick is left. Wanna buy it? Well, how about $85? No. If it's free, do you want it? Then take it. 
Okay. He gave it to me for free. Canary chick. Canary chick, its eyes show sadness. Okay. Nothing happened. I think something is controlling the animals. Alright. So every time I beat enemies, Dad uh, gives, sends more money, essentially. That's a weird way to do it. But it makes more sense than beating up a random dog and he drops a $5 bill. Well, you. Hey, Ninten, how's your asthma? Mine's gotten better. Ninten has asthma? What a relatable child. A car exhaust still sets it off. Has the little girl who strayed into the cemetery been rescued? I guess it's gonna be my job. Small asthmatic boy goes on an adventure. Check it out. It's my dream come true. I go in here? Zombie! Oh. That's a zombie. Pseudo-zombie appeared. What is with that? Look at him. Alright, let's attack him. Seems like it might be a good idea to grind for that wooden bat. Uh, maybe I should make my way back to my house. Level up along the way and make a proper save at the, the telephone. There we go. He ain't gonna put on a shirt. He's looking spooky. Kinda, his, his face kind of looks like a twisted Hamburglar. Alright. Well then. That didn't kill him. I might be dead. Huh. That's not good. Charged. Well. You lost the battle. Ninten, you seem to be worn out from fighting. One more time. With his strength regained, Ninten returned once more to the fighting scene. Do your best. Okay, so did I keep the items I got? Yeah, I keep the items. I really don't want to reload after that. I wasn't expecting the zombie to mess me up that badly. Oh well. This is just how this game is? I thought I'd check the phone at the department store. I guess I used check instead of talk on it, so I couldn't- I didn't save there. Oh well. So I lost my PP. That's not a big deal because I don't have any PSI skills to use. I only lost $30. This is not a big deal. I'll be fine. In fact, can I just like... Do you restore with, with Teddy or so? Let's find out. So this game can just throw enemies like that at you and body you. First it's the hippies, then it's the zombies. When you want to ch eat Teddy Ursus again, come back here. Cookies, remember. Uh, yeah, that healed my PP anyway, so it's not a big deal. Let's see how much Dad will give me. Sixty-five dollars. Balance is twenty-five. Oh, spend your money wisely. Well, the next level requires eighteen for Ninten. Okay, but I was thinking of going to sleep. Well then. Life in this rural, rural American town is not very good right now. There's zombies, there's hippies, there's dogs. The animals are loose. Can I go up here? No, I cannot. Wally draw- Who the hell's Wally? Just some random dude with a pitchfork. He looks like Hank Hill's long-lost cousin. Wally suffered damage of seven. What the hell's your problem, Wally? Wally flew into a rage. He's mad. Ninten learned a new PSI power through battle. Life up. Alpha. Okay, so I'm assuming that's a heal spell. Ninchen tried life up. HP recovered by three. Three at a time? Damn. Alright. The encounter rate seems to be all over the place. One minute it's like huge, and then all of a sudden, bam, there's nothing. I think it's because I only lost three HP in that battle, okay. Let's have a look around. I'm sure things will be fine. 
Try not to carry too much money on me. We're learning. We shall learn how this game goes, and maybe I should stop talking to people around here. I'm assuming the zombies enemy will be like a normal thing when I, if I go south to the graveyard. Um, I can't move this at all. I'm assuming the black dots are notable locations. So if I go to those two black dots below Pond Dunk are probably the cemetery and something. All right, what's over here? Who are you talking to? Ugh, don't get smart with me. Podunk West, Marysville East. Until the curfew is lifted, no one can cross. That is by order of the town mayor. Psst. By the way, kid, they might let you cross the bridge northeast of the zoo. All right. Nothing over here. Looks like I can keep going down this way. It probably isn't a smart idea, because I'm kind of too weak. Let's keep trying to attack it. I don't know why I'm trying to kill this random centipede, or why it's powerful enough to do this to me, but okay. lead to a secret. No, it doesn't. Hippie again. Alright. I wandered out to the woods and I stumbled across a bad place. Let's get him. Okay, he's hitting hard. Well, I better get my ass out. Goods, PSI, recovered by 26. Oh, jeez, does that fully heal me? Damn, that's actually really good to get early on. I might be okay after all. Wally draws near. All right, still don't know who the hell Wally is, but he's here, he's got a name. It's the same guy, right? Or is it, like, supposed to be, like, a term? Like, is Wally just a term for, like, angry farmer? I don't know. Who knows? You win. Let's go back to town. Too bad those officers can't seem to help with my problem there. Uh... Dude standing still as zombies, maybe? talk to you guys. I wasn't done checking out the houses around here when that zombie messed me up. I have no idea what the hell I've gotten myself into. All of a sudden, like, I didn't know what to expect from this series, but the, the, the animals are going crazy and there's zombies going on and it's the 1980s. Like, this is all too much for me to handle. Okay. Don't want to go here. Where was... department store. Oh, there we go. These buildings. What are these? I'll share the secret with you later. Okay. I am Abbott, the town mayor, but his assistant, Mr. Mayor, is over there. Okay, I read that wrong. Citizen, I know you would like to help your town. Well, a child has strayed into the cemetery, and I'm up for re-election soon. You must help. Please help me. Oh? You will go there and save her? Return her to me alive, and surely I'll be a hero. Um, I mean, you'll be a hero. Well then. Buildings with round doors you can enter. Round doors? Uh, I haven't seen anything like that. Have I? Usually it just seems to be stuff with signs. My, you are that snot-nosed Ninten who sat next to me in kindergarten. What the hell's your problem? Can I help you? Please use this menu. Orange juice, french fries, hamburger. No, oh, thank you. Don't need that, do ya? Come see us when you do. Okay. 
We lost a child in the cemetery. Send another one to it. Uh... Don't see any different doors on any of these. Could go down to the, uh, probably should go to the department store and save. Let's do that. Grab the telephone. This is your dad. I've transferred $42 into your account after the amount you spent. The balance is 67 Spend your money wisely. 500 is a ways away. Six for Nintendo. By the way, do you want to save? Yes. I feel like I really need to level up a bit more. Just like your mom, you never want to stop. Please don't push yourself too hard, slam. Okay. I could try looking a bit to the south, but I feel like the encounters might kick my ass there. I did just save, though. Always reset. You, are you really going to the cemetery? Yes, I thought you were a sensible child. Careful who you talk to. Wally again. Kill him. Hello, oh, friend. Welcome. Yes, I was able to get the link to the past Teddy run to finally uploaded. Finally, after months of dealing with that stuff. Hang on. Smash. Wally suffered damage to 13. Is Wally just, like, ch hunting me down? Or am I just con co coincidentally, like, bumping into him? Dude, I took two steps. What happened? What happened, bro? Wally looks like that guy from that one American painting. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Centipede became quiet. You mean I killed it. Stat increases seem to be pretty significant, considering I had, like, single-digit status- or stats right now. Maximum HP increased by four. Who are you talking to? Okay. I can only check the next amount of experience once I... Hmm. I feel like I should just go back to my house to restore the PP and plan for, like, a big trip to the cemetery, because if I try and go there now, I'm gonna get roughed up. When I come back to town here, though, here's a plan. I'm gonna buy some healing items. What would you guys say is a good thing to buy? Like, there's a lot of general food items, but I don't know what's, like, a good thing to just kind of pack with me. There we go. Like, is the orange juice just, like, heal 10 HP or what? There we go. I wonder if running also increases the encounter rate. It does seem like it generally increases some kind of speed in general. Hmm. Okay. Whack the snake. The snake is blue. The snake became quiet. You win. Picked up a magic herb. Now that's something I'd expect to drop when I beat up the hippie, but... What is it? Goods. Magic herb, when you're tired or injured, use it. Okay. <laughs> what happened to the encounter rate? Dude, I'm not going anywhere. Wasn't I just, like, making a beeline down this path before? Am I even gonna be able to get back to my house? I suppose I could just heal, since my PP will recover when I have Teddy Ursa cookies. Don't trust the magic herb. Oh, what do we got? Wait, what? It said I learned a new one. It's the same, though. Uh, Hypnosis? I guess it's a battle-only one that only shows up in battle. Okay. In Japanese, Wally is Oji-san, which me. Oh, it's literally just like the uh, a term for middle-aged old middle-aged men. Yeah, I don't know why they called it Wally then. So just a random dude in like his is in his thirties is just coming at me with a pitchfork. That's funny. 
Uh, hold up a sec. PSI. Covered by 27. Damn, that's pretty good. It didn't fully heal me, right? Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, I'm getting a handle on this more. Okay. Definitely seems like leveling up is a good idea right now. Do we call 30s middle-aged? What do you guys think? 40 or 30s? In the fan translation, Wally is just called Redneck. <laughs> okay. Wally regained his sentences. You'd say 50s is middle-aged? I don't know. I never really thought about it like that. Here comes a hippie. Chat, I'm 29, and I can accept 30s as, like, almost middle-aged. I don't know. Your mother is calling for you, but Ninten wasn't convinced. This made Ninten angry. Ninten's offense increased by 15. What? What is that? I almost missed all that. Dude, did this hippie just approach me and tried to pull the, hey, I know your mom, kid, follow me. Bro, your kneecaps are shattered for this one. Flip. Flip. All right. Hey, man, you ever think about how cool it is that you got psychic powers, man? Ow, my kneecaps. I thought it was something blue down there. Was that a house? Hey, Wally. Normal RPG. Can imagine, like, for NES, a lot of what this game does, like, no other game was kind of doing at the time, right? It is. It was the quirky RPG. Okay. A human can live over at 100, so 50 can be middle-aged. Colpium. That's what that is right now. Does it matter that much? Alright. Centipede gets suffered. Alright, see, I'm going back to my house. I'm gonna heal and save there. Get experience along the way, and when I get back to... Am I... Wait, am I on the right path? I think I might not be on the right path to my house. Hang on. Okay, the hippie's not hurting me as much anymore, that's good. I better use a heal after this, hold up. Hold up. I'll resume my train of thought in a moment. Smashed his kneecaps. There we go. Oh my god! Okay. Hang on, let's take out Wally. Let's take out Wally. Let's take it out. The clip in Discord of what? Me talking about the hippie's kneecaps? Alright. No, we're gonna take this playthrough slow. I know that this trilogy means a lot to people. I know that people can be eager to help, which is fine. I don't want to make anyone feel bad over that. But I do want to try and, like, discover stuff a little bit myself while asking for a hint along the way. There we go. I don't... I don't want, like, a playthrough like this to turn into, like, me versus chat, because that's just stupid. Uh, I write the canary trick with something I had. I need to use PSI. Life up. HP recovered by 26. Anyways, what was I saying? So I'm getting money along the way. Where am I? I'm above where my house is? Who are you talking to? I think I took a different path. City Zoo. Okay, yeah, I'm way far away. I need to go back the other way. I took a different north exit from town. I thought I was heading back to my house. Oh, boy. Wally draws near. All right, here comes Wally. Wally coming to be a boop. Wally flew into a rage. Hey, you kid, you get off my lawn. Wally's offense went up by zero. Let's get him. I have only... Pretty much any, any, anything I know about Mother is probably, like, whatever loose references slip in from, like, Ness and Lucas being in Smash Brothers. That's pretty much it. Damn. 
The only thing I know about Earthbound is I have heard from some critical sources that that game, in fact, stinks. So, I don't know. That might be the black sheep of the series when we get to it, I'm afraid. But I guess I can suffer through it just for you guys. Okay. I think a lot of people saw Ness in, in Smash Brothers and was like, who is this kid? Because Earthbound did not, like, sell very well. It's one of the most expensive Super Nintendo games in English, right? Uh... Hang on, do this. Let's do this. Yeah, when I get some money on the way back, I need to spend it on some I uh, food items. I don't know how much they'll restore, but we'll just have to take a chance. I'm getting experience, so this'll help. The zoo doesn't sound like a good idea, because if I go in there, uh, wouldn't, like, actual zoo animals attack me? I'm pretty sure, like, a lion would be stronger than a dog. Earthbound was never even released in Europe until the Wii U Virtual Console. Ah, you guys didn't get any of it, period. Okay. When it was originally released in North America, it was bundled with the strategy guide that jacked up the price. Wait, wait, those free strategy guides weren't free? I didn't realize that. Like, I knew that some old RPGs came bundled with, like, a strategy guide. I thought that was just a way of, like, the localizers being like, yeah, kids over here are too dumb for this. We need to give them a hint book. But they actually charged you money for it? I thought it was just a free thing. Damn. No, no, no. When I said Earthbound stinks, I'm making a joke about the Nintendo Power ad. Where they distributed those god-awful scratch-and-sniff stickers. That was the tagline they used to advertise the game. There we go. This is a long path. Once I get into town, it seems like the encounter rate is just gone. Uh, the left side, north. Yeah, this is the one that should go to my house. I recognize that kid in the side there. Take out the centipede. I should have more than enough to make it past here for the... It's only the early route. The marketing had nothing to do with what was in the game, yeah. I don't think Nintendo of America really had any idea how to advertise that game at all. Okay, fight went up. A fight was critical chance, I believe. Wisdom increased, strength increased. I didn't try hypnosis yet. It's anything like the one in Pokemon and will miss all the time. So when my max PP and HP go up, I don't get that health, so... Alright, it's fine. Oh my god, man. Let's whack it. At least it's getting easier to take out these enemies. Like, my stats were in the single digits, and they're going up quite a bit, so... I'm getting significantly strong. New PSI power. Can't see in the check. Wait, healing D? Hold up. I'm assuming that healing D is like a group heal move. I don't have a group yet, though. I wonder if they expect me to. Alright, let's break the hippie. I like how the hippie has his own battle music. Freedom, man! Oh, that was also Alpha? Did I just say it as D? I did, didn't I? Let's keep going. We're almost back home. Hippie must be the girl that's lost in the cemetery. How does a centipede get in my way? Just, like, walk around it. My experience is already at 135. It's pretty damn good. Dad better have a bunch of money ready for me. Anyways, let's have some cookies. Again, it's funny, I'm not playing this with an NES controller. I have a Sega Genesis controller plugged into my Switch. <laughs> okay. 
When you want to eat Teddy Ursa cookies again, just come back here. We're not actually eating the bears. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, what do I have in my inventory? I guess this is fine. Uh, let's talk to Dad now. Grab the telephone. This is your dad. I've transferred $315 to your account. After the amount you've spent, balance is 382 That wooden bat feels like it's right around the corner. I ought to go for it. Well, the next level requires 75 for Nintendo. Damn, that's quite a ways away. I feel like I should get the wooden bat before I go to the cemetery. I'm assuming the cemetery is, like, the next location I need to go to. But I have heard that this game is pretty infamous for, like, not being good at telling you where you need to be going at, at certain times. I think I'm gonna have to go through the zoo after that, maybe. Alright, let's beat up Wally again. This man is, like, approaching my property, and he's getting, like, angry with me. Look at him. Yeah, Wally, you're dead. Imagine a kid comes up to you with a plastic bat, and he kills you in two hits. That kid is on fire. He's getting a workout. Strength training. Damn, kid, stay off your lawn. I might be powerful enough for the cemetery. But there's no reason to not beat anything up along the way. Take a bit more grinding. I'm probably gonna have to enter the cemetery and come back out anyway, so I might as well pop my head in there and gauge how tough the enemies are before I get the wooden bat. Hold up, I'm just trying to find this store. We'll save here again. 28 into your account. Damn, it's really close. Yeah, I'll have to come right back so I can get that bat. 68. Hello, friend. Welcomes. Okay, save. Please don't push yourself too hard. All right. Uh, the money with the money I have on hand, though, I want to try buying a couple heals, so I don't have to waste my PP down there. I don't want to spend any PP until. Hold up. Twenty-one, twenty-one. I have to go all the way back to my house to restore that, so. Mean orange juice? Yes. I'll buy two orange juice. Let's see if this helps. Alright, let's try going south to the cemetery and see how that works out for me. Probably beat up that zombie dude in town quick enough, too. I need to, but we got... Oh, damn it. How many hippies are in this town? We're gonna have to put a stop to that. Light him up. Imagine, like, you call up your dad, and you tell him that you spent the day just breaking the kneecaps of a bunch of hippies, and he's like, Good job, son. Good job, son. Here's a hundred dollars. Go wild. Get yourself a new metal bat, courtesy of your, your old man. Don't let them win. to get here. Sometimes the D-pad's a little weird when you're trying to change direction. I can't really describe it. I don't think it's the controller. I think it's the game. Healer's House West. Beyond Bridge. Um, isn't there something funky about the Healer's House I need to avoid? I think someone may have mentioned before. Beyond Bridge. Cemetery. Abandon all hope. Ye who enter. Okay. Oopsie. Mr. Bat A. First group battle. Take the bat down. Thinking about the circumstances, Mr. Bat B lost all senses. Nice. Isn't this the 80s? Why so many hippies? Some of them are left over from the previous decade. You know how it is. The Earth likes to reuse assets a little too long. There we go.
Anything this way? Oh. I'm surprised I can walk on tiles like that. It looks weird. This doesn't look safe. I'm doing good damage. They aren't called hippies in Japanese. They're basically just called dude. Well, to be fair, they do kind of... The, the word hippie does kind of fit that sprite. Okay, zombie. Here it is. Hold up. Maybe I should... Wait, what? Oh. Oh, that's how it works. So, why are life up and healing alpha on two separate pages? Does it mean healing is in, like, status effects, maybe? Try this. Nintendo tried hypnosis. There was no effect on pseudo zombie. It scratched me. Okay. Probably run. I would speed it. Damn it. Okay. Ghost draws near. Ooh. Hi, you kids. You wanna play with me? It's your favorite boy, Mr. Ghost. Oh, you don't like that kid? How about another one? I'll break him. Hang on, I should probably use. No, wait, I don't want to use that. Let me just finish it off first. Hang on. Let me use the orange juice. Looks like Grimace and a ditto. I hate that description. So let's try... Orange juice, vitamin C is always good for a few HP. Okay, goods. Drank orange juice. HP recovered by nine. That's a little bit, but I can use that to get back to town. Wait, I can keep using it? Oh, no, it's subtracted. I was worried. I was wondering for a second there. Brito. Oh, never say that again. By the time I make it back to the city, I'll be able to, um... Hold up. I'll run away from these. I'll fight the bats, not... Ah, oh, man. <laughs> uh... Uh, I, I don't think I want to fight these guys. Let's run. But it didn't work out. Uh-oh. 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 Guess I better fight. I may have to go all the way back to my house now just to heal my um, PP a bit. Damn, that actually spent a lot, didn't it? They're attacking each other now. Mr. Bat's thinking about it. Let's go. May as well take them all out and get the experience, because I feel like with the group, it's going to be harder to run away. I'm accidentally hit A, but that's okay. A is almost... A and D are almost dead now. It. Became quiet, thinking about the circumstances. Luckily, they're not doing anything. They're just sitting there being like, what am I doing? No, I've not played Mother 2 or 3. This is my first time playing a Mother game. I, I, I'd like to stream the trilogy if I can. Um, I don't exactly know how long each game is. We may have talked about that in previous streams, but I sure as heck don't remember. I'm not sure how many streams it'll take to do. I will also try to grind a little bit between episodes to speed things up. Make myself more prepared when I play. I don't think I'm gonna have to grind as much for cri as Crystal Kaizo, though. Mr. Bat Dodge. Let's finish it off. Does the run battle... I don't think the run button speeds up battle, no. How much experience did I get? Oh my god. I Let me take more than one step, my god. <laughs> At this rate, I'm gonna have to go all the way back to my house, because I'm gonna need to replenish the PP before I do this. I could also just use the hotel and spend $39. That would work. No, I wanted to start with Mother 1. I feel like if I skip Mother 1 and start with 2 or 3, I'm just gonna not go back to it. 
The encounter rate is so weird. Sometimes you just walk a long stretch with nothing, and then the game's just... And it's just this. Gonna have to use a life up after battle. Alright. That wooden bat is needed. I'll absolutely be able to afford it when I get back. Okay. Gen 5 encounter rates. This is worse than Gen 5 encounter rates. Somehow. Let's go. Let's go. This is some Kaizo encounter rates. Honestly, it kind of is. I'm close to the next level, though. I need 200 total. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. A PSI. Life up. 28. That one costs 3 PP. And now no one- there we go. I crossed the bridge, so things are funky again. Why is the crow looking like he's doing, like, a Dracula pose, almost? Like his wing is his cape. Nice. Okay. The healer's house is this way. Now, quick question I generally want to know. Oh, this has a rounded door. But, uh, anything up here? If I enter the healer's house, is it safe? Because I think someone said something about losing a party member permanently if you use this. But I don't know if that's true. Let me take a look up here before I check the house. You never know what games like these, so I just want to be sure. Okay, this is a shortcut then, back to town. Up here. Also town. Different healer's house much later, okay. Beat up Wally. Since I'm already close to town, let me just pop by. I'm assuming the healer can restore PP there, so it's safe to use that house. Let me go to the par uh, department store and see if I have enough money for the bat. I absolutely have to after all that. I transferred $140 to your bank account after the amount you spent. Balance is $550. Hell yeah. Well, next level requires 8 for Nintendo. By the way, you want to save? Yes. I hope this wooden bat is better. Plastic bat is doing just fine for me. Okay. Oops. Please insert your cash card. Right, I gotta do it like this. This is a little tedious, but alright. Withdrawal. Your account balance shows 550. How much you like to take out? Give me 500. It's kind of neat that they have a system like this in place for a game like this at the time. Okay. Yeah, if there's something like an event that'll make me permanently lose a party member, it is- I'd say it's fair to warn me about that. Here we go. Wooden bat. I can't check how much of an increase it is, but... I'm sure it's better than the plastic one, since, you know, the price is quite a difference. Thank you very much. Alright. Current stats. Take a look at those. Offense is 18, fight 15, strength 16. Let's put on the other bat. Put the wooden bat. Damn! 27 offense now. Okay, so it looks like the bat only affects the offense stat, not the actual fight and strength stuff. Um... So I can only hold eight items total, huh? I should probably buy, like, an extra orange juice or two. I don't want to go all the way back to... I have the herb for healing, too, but... No idea what this is for yet. I want to go back and store this at my sister. Is that really what I gotta do, or, or can I sell stuff? That might be a pain in the ass. Is it even possible to drop the cash card at your sister? Okay. Okay. You 
said return. Maybe it's you. Yes? Which one? Plastic bat? I'll give you $40 for it. Oh, okay, I get it. Thank you for shopping with us today. All right. Thank you. Let's do this now. Fix my seat here. Eight for Ninten. Okay, I think I'm all set up to absolutely slaughter that cemetery. Uh, cemetery. It's gonna be a real graveyard smash. is Ninten? What, why is he doing this? Is he like a Pokemon trainer? He became 10 one day and now he's out to do this stuff. Wild puppy. Like 11. 10, 11. That seems to be the general consensus here. You win. I just bodied that puppy in one hit. Let's see if I can do the same to the crow. dodged. Hang on. A level up should be in a second. Wait, did I not get experience for that battle? Did I miss something there? Let me just level up before I talk to the healer. Encounters? What happened to them? They just stop existing. <laughs> Yo! There we go. I feel like the game is just turning encounters on and off, not like actually rolling a percentage chance when you take a step. <laughs> That's really weird. There we go, I did get experience. Fight has increased by two, speed increased by three, wisdom increased by three, that's a good one. Maximum PP increased by ten. That's really good. Alright, now let's check out this healer's house. Oh, there's a phone in here? Damn it. I should have assumed as much, to be honest. Believe it or not, I am a healer. I can charge your PP and can cure stone illness. Refresh? Soften? I assume that means cure stone. Give me $18 for that. There you have it. I fixed it like a true expert. Alright, not bad. And Dad can get money out here. Alright. Okay. Is your dad? I've transferred $15 to your account. After the amount that you spent, the balance is $65. Alright, we are definitely all prepared to go into the cemetery for sure. That next level's quite a ways off, but I think I'm good. Good night. Just like your mom, you never want to stop. Please don't push yourself so hard, Slam. Alright, let's go, Ninten. I'm stuck, there we go. How the hell did I end up walking like that? Dad is just super rich. He's probably a YouTuber. He's just got like a million dollars. He's just slowly drip-feeding it to us. It's our inheritance. Son, you want your money? You want that trust fund money? Then you take a bat, you go out there, and you show those hippies who's boss. I don't care who gets in your way. You take them out, you get your money. Every kneecap you break is another $7 in your bank account. It's a good investment. Just don't, don't get caught. Law enforcement's busy elsewhere. You can do it. Damn, those are some fantasy realm looking... Are those supposed to be angel statues? Looked like an axe to me at first. Oh. <laughs> That's a funny transition there. Welcome to Spooky World! Happy-go-lucky music! It's funny. Oops. No, no, no. Check, silly. No problem. Okay, round doors means I can enter. How's it going? I'd like to stop the zombie evil- the zombie's evil ways, but... 
They do not listen to me or won't even talk to me. Now I'm too scared to leave this place. All right. It's very spooky here. Kind of wild that there's no load zone for this place. It's just one massive overworld. What do we got? Okay, a single bat. I'll show you a bat. The wooden kind. Damn. Alright, I'm at the point where I can one-shot some small enemies. That really saves me a lot of trouble. Hi, you kids! It's your favorite friend, Grito! Did you miss me? I hate this thing. It looks like a 30-year-old's, like, idea of what's cute for children. Dad's just got that endless amount of money. Gang zombie draws near. Whoa. <laughs> a mobster just, just popped out of the grave and is suiting everything. He's like, yeah, come here, kid. I'll show you what's up. Smash, gang zombie suffered damage. Smash. Oh, I suffered damage. Oh, that almost murdered me. Are you serious after all that? Oh, man, he should die in one hit. I'm gonna go for it. After all that grinding, I just got, like, swept aside in one hit. Uh... I can always go back to the healer's house. I'm definitely getting a profit with Dad here. 25. This'll do. Don't know how close I am to a level up. It's just how Mafia works. I'm a level one thug. It's no good. Why are ghosts purple? I don't like that. The ghost is very too purple to exist. Very strange, bright color. Pseudo zombie appeared. It bit me. Well, life is over. I'm infected now. I may already have to go back to the healer. Maybe I should just get myself to the next level. Start going back. The, the gang zombie was pretty rough. He did get a critical hit, too, to be fair. About this way. Anything over here? Haven't been like any chests or anything in the overworld. All right, Mr. Healer, let's go say hello to you. I'm not quite sure what a, zo a pseudo zombie is supposed to be either. Oh, great. Better take it out. Darn it. Keep hitting the wrong thing. Tried hypnosis once and it, and it missed, so now I've lost faith in it. Alright, I got the smash. What is the Japanese name of the pseudo zombie? Maybe that would make it make more sense. Who knows? Oh, boy. Zombie imitator. Wait, wait, wait. So it's just a person pretending to be a zombie? That's what it is? Wait, so you're, did everybody just collectively put on makeup and be like, yeah, let's go chill near the graveyard and act like zombies, like Scooby-Doo. So they're not actual zombies then, huh? Maybe they're just crackheads hanging out by the graveyard. He's super into roleplay. That would be a very scary mother encounter. Like, imagine you're walking down the road and all of a sudden, bam, it's an it's an ERP person. And it starts, and its first attack is ooh woo. Okay, I'm just making, turning this into a horror game. I need to stop, sorry. Are the gang 
Gangster's real. Notices you running for your life. Ooh, woo, you can't escape. Ooh, woo, I will hunt you down. I have to go back to, um, the store in order to take out more money for the for the thing. Money is coming in real nice. Look at that. 48 for Ninten. I could go for that now, honestly. I walked into a LARP session. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Make save. Alright. I could grind that level. I also think I'm gonna go back into town, take out a little bit extra money, so I have it for the healer next time later. I'm a healer. I can do this. I knew going into this game that it was gonna be a little bit grindy and a little bit rough. Like, critical hits can just, like, destroy you in this game, right? That's another good reason to grind. And apparently, coming across that random zombie in town is just, like, <laughs> something that gets everybody and makes them die. How many times we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Also, plot twist, my dad also really hates Wally, so whenever I see him, I just go up to him and smack him with the bat, and dad's like, hell yeah, every time you hit him, I give you a couple dollars. He's like a pinata. Make sure you hit him nice and hard. <laughs> Buff child, let's go. And then I go home, and my mom makes teddy ears of cookies. She is not cooking the teddy bear. I promise you that. I just can't fit the word cookie after Teddy or so. I probably should have just put Teddy Cookie. That that may, may have fit. Teddy Cook. That would sound better. That's fine. Alright. Put my cash card here. Withdraw your account shows a balance of 255 or 245. Just take out 35 for now. A little bit of extra cash on hand to pay the healer, so I don't have to keep coming back. I'll also just buy one more orange juice, so I can try and save some PP in there if I need it. Teddy treat would have fit. Oh, too late now. Please use this menu. Orange juice. takes care of that. I may as well make another save while I'm at the phone, because it seems like saving very often is a good idea. Hang on, did it take a dollar to use the payphone? I may have missed that, but I think it subtracted money when I checked this. Yeah, because the orange juice cost five, and I had 56, didn't I? That would make sense if the payphone costs money to use. That would mean you have to go all the way back to your house. The other one. Green phones you pay for, black ones are free. Okay. You make a mother game now, you just use your cell phone. Bam. Life hack. Alright. Let's see if we can get that level now. We're gonna make our way back to the healer house and save again there. I'm not gonna spend any PP along the way. Hang on a second. If I lose health... Damn, I did lose a bit of health, didn't I? It's fine. Uh, wrong button. $50. I mean, the, any HP I get from level won't count anyway, so it's fine. Damn! Taking out that puppy. I know it's a payphone. I know payphones work. I'm just saying I wasn't sure if the game actually subtracted money because it didn't really say that. Come on, let's get an encounter. I'm just gonna get that level up I'm close to, then heal myself to full, and then make a beeline to the end of the end of the place, I think. Come on. Give me encounters. There was nothing down this way, right? They put these large open areas for you to travel through. Ghost suffered damage. Ghost is freaking pissed and ran away. Nice. 
Um, what do we got? That's the entrance, duh. Oh, here's another one. All right, chat. Two kneecaps, $14 has been submitted to your bank account. I'm gonna buy Pokemon cards with this, I say as I crack the bat. So there's two entrances into the graveyard, it seems. I thought there was only one. Oh, well, it's fine. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to keep my level up because I know the game can get real rough. And here's the encounters. Pseudo-zombie. Great. Pseudo-zombie doesn't hit very much now, right? Wait, so if this is a zombie imitator, this is just a random person being like, Rar, I'm a zombie. I'm gonna bite you. And he actually bites me. God, what a dork. I'm gonna heal at the healer's house anyway, so I may as well just use this. 28. Max PP is 31. Dude, I'm so close. Let, give me the level up. There we go. Centipede. Punch the ghost very fast. There we go. What do we got? Fight is increased by two. Speed increased by three. Wisdom increased by three. Strength increased by three. Force increased by three. Twelve extra HP. That's really good. New PSI power. Defense up. I'm guessing, yeah, it only works in battle. Um, I suppose that's fine, but considering it's just me, I feel like my support skills aren't really going to shine through until I actually have a team to use them on. Casting them on myself is just going to slow me, like, slow me down. Okay. Didn't mean to press that. Okay, let's pay the healer. Refresh. $18. Here you go, man. Put it all on Dad's credit card. Okay. Now this is the real one. We're making a beeline to the end of the, the graveyard. You earn money really quickly. I never would have assumed that the amount of enemies you kill affects the money. I would just assume that passing time does it, but it's an NES game, so it's easier to track enemies killed than passage of time. Okay, let me get a drink here. Never want to stop. No, I don't. Please don't push yourself so hard. Alright, everybody. Yeah, this is a comfy game. RPGs are nice. Playing RPGs in the summer is good. It reminds me of, like, being on summer vacation back when I was a kid. I did kind of promise last year that I'd do some more RPGs that I haven't... that I missed out on as a kid, but, um... I kind of, like, had a lot of stuff happen in the past year, especially, like, towards the end of last summer. That was when I got, like, the big sick, and I was just out of commission for a good while. Even when I went back to stream, and I didn't feel like I was fully recovered for, like, a month after that. Blah. I did play a lot of Mario Luigi last summer. Maybe one day I'll figure out how to set up and do Dream Team. Okay, Mob Zombie. Ah, I can't run from it. Alright, it's not worth trying that, so I'll just fight it. Okay. Oh, you got to tell the Strange Men creator how much you love her games? Oh, did she respond? That's cool. We gotta do a stream of the Sandman sometime in the future, too. Let's go. I don't think running affects the encounter rate. It just kind of turns on and off sometimes. Nice. That's awesome. It's fun to get a response from people when you like their stuff. I've had a few people tell me I've made their day when I re uh, reply to them. It's a nice feeling. That's why I try to only, like, reply to nice comments instead of uh, the dorks being rude. There we go. Okay, I never really got to play much Final Fantasy, like, any Final Fantasy as a kid. 
My cousin let me Final Fantasy VIII, but I couldn't even, like, read at the time, so I didn't even know what was happening. I'd like to go back and play that game as an adult, but I just haven't done it. I did play a little bit of Seven a couple years ago, but I ended up stopping because I got really sick again. Damn, I've already taken a good chunk of health here. I didn't get any max PP off that level. Oh well, if I have to get another level and run back to the healer, it's fine, but... The damage from these guys really piles up, huh? Okay. I'll use an orange juice first. Damn. Oh, there's nothing up here. Yeah, let me fix my seat. It seems like I don't have enough speed to run away from battles. Um, I'm assuming the speed stat what factors it. For all I know, it could be hard coded, like a hard coded chance for each enemy type. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'm telling you, the game is just flipping a switch. It's encounter time, and you're not getting anything else. Go. Can I two-shot this zombie? It dodged, of course it did. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to heal. I'm getting risky with my HP here. I outspeed it at least. Ah. Things will definitely help once I get another party member. might be putting in a position where I can't even get out because of the encounters, right? Damn, I got smashed the ghost. I already got a life up again. Dude! Are you... I can't even take one step sometimes. It just starts a big chain reaction to this crap. The bats don't really do damage. I may as well take them all out. Yeah, they seem to just waste turns and not actually do anything. Okay. Bat became confused. Bat's attacking you. Bat is thinking about circumstances. Bat lost all senses. It's trying. Bat got a critical hit on itself. Nintendo took one damage. Oh boy! The bat took seven damage. What are you talking about? Oh my god! Dude, let me move! I think you misread the text there, friend. There we go. Or did it? Or did I take the seven damage? I don't really care either way, though, to be honest. Excellent. Dude, what did I hit like hmm I don't think repels exist in this game. I don't want to fight these. Good, I can run from it. Am I are we sure I'm not playing Kaizo Pokemon? That's what it feels like. But it didn't work out. We both actually took seven damage during that fight. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, fantastic. What is the encounter rate of Mother 1? Yes, that's what it is. Okay, this thing isn't so... That one over there is moved. Is it meant to be a hole I can go into? I don't like all these bats. I don't want to fight them all. These ones are too time-consuming. Well, I think I recognize. The staircase looks like the ones referenced in Yumeniki for sure. Like, these, this exact staircase, almost. Something 
one down there. Oh, hey, coffins. Great. Could be a boss battle when I open that up. Let's find out. Return to dust. Wait. If the zombies are returning to dust, then they're not actually... Okay, they're just shuffling at random. It isn't a zombie imitator. It's an actual zombie. I don't know. took one step. Took one step. Alright. I would love to know how the encounters are, like, programmed, because most games, they kind of just do, like, a percentage chance when you, like, take a step in, like, the encounter zone, so to speak. But this game just seems to randomly, like, turn on a switch where every step just magically becomes an encounter, and then all of a sudden you just have... Damn, it did do seven to me. And then every, you're just stuck there for a little bit until it decides to turn it off. Oh, boy. Check this one. In 10, pried the lid out, out from the casket. Oh, it's a child. Got it right the first time. The other ones are probably just boss battles or zombie battles. Hi, I'm Pippi, and I'm lost. What a brave boy you are to have found me. Yes? Don't get so swell-headed, ha ha ha. Now let's go back to town. We did it. She deserves a teddy after all that. Oh, okay, cutscene. Ninten, please go first, I'm so afraid. Is she actually with me? Oh, she does, she is. Okay. I didn't get a chance to name this girl on the, the start screen. Uh-oh. Is she permanent, or is she just gone forever as soon as I take her back to her house? I should probably guard with her. She's very- she's temporary and gone forever, but her offense stack growth is insane. So you're, so if I take the time to grind her, she just becomes like an absolute demon. That's pretty funny. Is there any kind of, like, trick for this point in the game to use her to just kind of, like, grind quickly or something? Can't advance in the game without getting rid of her. Okay. As far as I know, when you load the map, the, the game generates a number. That's the number of steps till the next encounter happens. Sometimes that number is just one. Is that how it works? Fight is increased by four. Yeah, she got good offense gain, huh? She's mostly useful for grinding levels early on. I could do that then. I'm assuming that shop lists don't change. If I want a better bat, I just have to go to a different shop, don't I? Now, quick question. You, you can, you, it's safe to answer this one. Um, as soon as I take her to her mom, is she just gone forever? There we go. Yes, yes, all right. Now, is it impossible to do anything else in the game until she's gone? Or can I just, like, go to the zoo or something with her? Because I think that zoo is, like, a hard area that I can enter. I'm just wondering if how I can take advantage of this. Because if she has a ridiculous attack growth, she is useful for that. All right, that wasn't so bad. Oh, damn it. Is it possible to just keep her in the party for, like, the entire game until you need that melody? I think you have to return her for the zoo key. Alright, interesting. Ghost tried to run, but Pippi got grabbed it down. Spooky ghost has appeared. Gang zombie. 
trust her to live. I wonder if the healer will increase because I have... Yeah, because I have a second party member. Let's see. Fun fact, Japanese version of the game, the gang zombie has blood stains on its shirt and lacks a tie. I suppose I could just try taking her beyond Podunk. Yeah, I could try. I love when games give you temporary crap and people find a way to, like, exploit and mess with it. Okay. You can still get a second melody with her, but to do the zoo, you need to get her back. Okay. Just attack. She lived there. I'll have to heal her. Why is increased by four? Does it just go up by four every level? That's pretty wild. Well, I can have a look around until I return her then. Because it seems like she's good for that. Grown fast, yeah. Hmm. I don't think I can give her equipment, can I? I don't have the plastic bat anymore. PSI. Oh, good, I can select it now. It doesn't seem like she gets PP at all. She's not psychic, she's just Pippi. I could just easily buy another plastic bat, that's true. Alright, these are only bats, we can just mash A and do it. No problem, no problem. Let me just adjust this over here. It's just comfy so far. Damn, it doesn't feel like I've almost been going for two hours. That's for sure. So I assume it's also impossible to get another party member until you get rid of her. Is that... Does the game not let me progress to that point? I don't know when you're supposed to get the other party members. Right now it's just Ninten, I suppose. Pippi can get kind of crazy if you invest the time to grind her. You just never get a chance to put that brute force to good use. Party member limit is three. Oh, I thought it was four, because there was four main children. I guess you swap them in and out. I assume Ninten has to stay at all times. Right, let's go this way now. And check the right side of the graveyard. It doesn't seem like there's anything here. All right, let's take her back. We gotta, we gotta help the mayor get reelected. Oh, can't go there. Not walk behind trees at all. If the game is generating a number of steps until the next encounter, I wonder what the limit on that is. Like, what's the li the highest that number can go? Because I feel like I've been able to run for a while without an encounter. Damn it. Do this here. You got some experience. Wonder if you have anything to say. I'd like to stop the zombies' evil ways, but they do not listen to me. All right, let's go talk to the mayor. I don't think I need. Huh? Why the music? This is a different track. I also recognize this melody from Smash Brothers. Is it because I have more party members? Does it change based on that? It's because I did a thing. Okay. Different music when you're traveling with a companion, I guess. Changes with party members. It's cool. Alright, let's bap ya. Stop at the healer's house. Mr. Batsy attacks. Smash. Smash. You win! Alright, I got another level on him. Fight increased by two, speed by two, three. 
force increased by two, and maximum HP up by four. Only one extra PP. Damn, fight went up by five. Let's go this way, I guess. Snake draws near. All right, whack it again. Snake suffered damage of 17. Watch it cry. Hippie is just, like, killing things. I'm not actually sure what Force does. <laughs> Level 4 and her offense is already 22. Jeez. Here's Wally. Let's rough him up. Wally suffered 32 damage. Says he regained his, sen his senses, but I don't know. Apparently, he's lost his senses yet again. Farmer Wally, gotta be taken out. What we got. There's no reason not to just beat up everything in sight. Charge PP and cure. Give me $18. Okay, I was worried it was gonna get more expensive. Wait, oh! Oh, he only heals one person at a time. Ooh, okay, it is technically more expensive in a way. Here's your dad. $439 into my account. The balance is $753. And your money wisely. Next level requires $183 for Nin 10, $31 for Pippi. By the way, do you want to save? Yes. All right, let's go take a little look around and see how far I can take her. Please don't push yourself so hard. I'm gonna have enough money to not care about that, that's for sure. Oh boy, here comes the hippie. Absolutely decimated. Okay. Go for a run. Haha, <laughs> you shall become a zombie! Let's beat him up. I need to have my revenge. Yeah! Return to dust. Oh look, he's dead. That's what he gets for crossing me. You, are you really going to the cemetery? Thought you were a sensible child. I rescued her. Zombie! There are just zombies among us, chat. Out in there in the open, causing trouble. Now I can just instantly take things out. This is amazing. The mayor's office was up here. I think it was this one. I'll share the secret with you later. Is she the lost girl, Pippi? Well, that's just great. I knew that you could fulfill your civic duty. Applause, applause. Now, pretty Pippi, don't forget. Tell your mom that the mayor saved you. Here, I will give Nintendo a prize of 100. By the way, hero, maybe you'd like to go see what's up at the zoo? Uh... So he's just gonna, like... <laughs> he's just gonna, like, make me do everything, huh? Yes, you'll go? Great, great, great. Now make sure you get a key from my assistant, Abbott. Oh, oh, okay, she's gone now. I thought I had to talk to the mom. Alright, I don't really care too much. Return her to me alive and surely I'll be a hero. Or, um, I mean, you'll be a hero. Okay. Now it's time to say goodbye. Please come by my house. I'll be waiting there. I assumed she'd leave when I went to the mom, not here. By the way, do you think my hair needs styling? Oh, you're fine. You didn't have to answer, cutie. Okay. 
Oh well. This key will open the zoo's gate. Don't lose it. I thought the mayor would just have dialogue. I didn't realize he was who I actually had to speak to over this. Zoo key. This will unlock the main gate at the city zoo. I'll share the secret with you later. I've already gotten, I feel like, more than enough levels anyway. Though it would have been nice to keep her around for a little longer for an extra attack, right? So the zoo is to the, the right north exit. <clears throat> um... Let me see what else is up here before I go to the zoo. There was a right path, I believe. I should also go back and talk to her mom, since she I already, like, lost her now anyway. You win. Could stop by my house to just heal as well. I may as well just go back and go to the other Ek North exit instead of going this way. Bullhorn, your mother's calling for you. Nintendo believed it. Fight decreased by 20. I believe the hippie? Nonsense, I'd never do that. Let's go back this way. Chat, I work on the internet. I don't easily believe lies. I just spread them. <laughs> that was too easy to just say. That's not true, I don't like lying. Don't lie, chat. If you lie, you'll make the teddies cry. I can one-shot the hippies. I don't think I even need Pippi anymore. Hey, dude! You wanna hang out? No. Say goodbye to your kneecaps. The hippies probably wanna spread misinformation. In fact, that's literally what they do when they use Bullhorn. Oh, this one has a rounded, uh, rounded door. Is that a mouse? Hee hee hee, I'm the noisy mouse. Some buildings you can enter, some you cannot. If the door is round or has a sign, go on inside. The rest of the doors will not open for you. Bye. Hang on, I just want to check the mouse. No problem. Alright then. Imagine some stranger keeps coming into your house, and when you ask why, you're like, well, your door is round. That means I can come in. It's a mouse hold. Wally well, can't hurt me. This child is too strong. You win. I have a lot of experience. I've heard about your wonderful adventures. You are so brave, aren't you? Yeah. Don't get too so swell headed. Ha ha. I want to thank you again for your help. Hippie is fine now. Can't go inside. No reward for me except more work. Let's go home. Probably should leave some stuff with uh, you as well. Hi, Minnie. What can I do for you? Leave. Uh, actually, no. I don't need to leave this stuff with you. I need the zoo key. Oh, you have been wounded. I'll cook Teddy Ursa cookies. Eat your dinner and rest for the night. Teddy Ursa cookies. We're not eating bears, chat. We're not eating any Teddy Ursas, regardless of what that says. Just come back here. Alright, I should save. Grab the telephone. We like bears in this stream. We like bears. I have a lot of money now. 146 for Ninten. Things are moving a bit slow, but that's okay. I when you go into a game like this, know when it's gonna be slow, it's fine. Just sit back and enjoy the numbers going up when you level up. Like to eat them? No! Don't eat the teddies. They're too wholesome for that. They're too wholesome. Alright. I've healed up. I've got 69 HP. Let me get a drink, yeah. Huh? Huh? 
What? Huh? Did it just crash? Did the Switch Online version just crash on me? Wait, what? No, what? What? Do I have a cell phone? I thought the game was freezing for a second. <laughs> when did I get a cell phone? <laughs> this is your dad. Now, son, it's not my business, but why not rest? What? No, you don't tell me what to do. I got a stream to run. I see. I know the Earth faces a crisis. Good luck. I genuinely thought the game crashed because that sound effect just kind of sounded like it was locking up. It's a pager. Oh. Okay. I don't have anything like that. I... I can't be the only one that thought that was a crash if you've never seen this game before. If... <laughs> That's really weird. Earthbound does this too. I was panicking for a second. Well, like I, I realized I saved, but so, so this is like the early version of when you play a 3DS game for too long and the characters are like, hey, dude, you should stop playing with the 3D effect. You should take a break. Take a proper break. You can't tell me to take a break from video games. Never. Man. Well, now we have that resolved. I'll probably look like a fool for a second, but I don't know. Like, I've heard enough, like, game crash noises that that sound effect, like, it, it sounded like the game just... I was pressing the D-pad trying to move. I had to hit B button to uh, actually use the pager. That's why I was confused. <laughs> All right. Chat, you know the rules. Kneecap shattered. $7 acquired. Let's go. To be fair, no one in the game tells you about it. That's true. If you choose to stop, what happens? Because he doesn't save the game, right? If you choose rest, does the game just turn off? That's a good question. Alright, Crow dies in one hit. I think he just tells you to go save and take a break there. Okay. I like that I'm at the point I can one-shot things. This child is going around with the golden aura. You win. Oh boy, here we go. The hippie draw near. Not a hippie, the hippie. He doesn't actually save the game, it locks up and forces a reset. Does it really do that? That seems like a very obviously flawed design choice, if that's really how it works, but I don't really want to test it. I assume it would just take you back to the title screen or something. There's probably a healer house somewhere, though. It, I don't know. Maybe there's, like, some differences between ports for what that does, because some people have said a few things that apparently only apply to the Game Boy Advance port, and that's why I've been confused. The encounter rate is very weird in this game. Someone earlier said that the game just generates a random number, and that num number is just the steps you have until uh, an encounter happens, so it makes for weird, weird things, I say. Who are you talking to? No, I mean that. City Zoo, 700 meters west. What's over to the right here, though? Okay. There was a GBA... Little Saucer, okay. And suddenly aliens. Suddenly aliens, okay. Oh, damn. Alright, they're strong. Maybe I should have taken Pippi up here. Okay, two hits. The GBA ha in Japan had, um a port of Mother 1 and 2 released on it, like a little mini collection. I was originally going to play that version, but I didn't want to play it for the easy ring, honestly. I wanted to just kind of play this version. I think the easy ring is like fa the fan translation or fan patch only. I don't think- I'm not sure if that's actually official. Proclamation by the town's mayor says, no one may pass till the zoo case is solved. A real one-way attitude, if you ask me. Don't have to like it, just enforce it. Okay, what about up here? Let me check the map. 
Looks like there's nothing up here. Is the black dot to the upper left of my home the zoo? Probably. So what's over here? Hold up a sec. Let me... Stand up and stretch a little bit like a good bear. Am I reaching the zoo's back entrance or what? Crow A. Oh boy, now there's two of them. Let's fight them. The port of mother... That port of mother 2 is not very good. Okay. see what's up here first, if there is anything. Oh, wait, that's a cliff? Looks a little awkward, but, uh, NES graphics, I can't complain. Okay. Let's have a look up here. I'm probably wandering a little too far, but I'm just trying to see if there's anything by exploring. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to get back by this point, but we'll go for it. I still have some orange juice. It looks like I reached the other side of the bridge anyway, so it's not too bad. I wanted to see if there was on the side of this before I go to the zoo, but now I'm just finding like big open plains and nothing. I don't think this game has something like, like repels, no. Where am I at now? I'm, like, really high up here. Jeez. Not the best-looking map, to be honest. Oh, Earthbound has a better one. Okay, this is dead-end stuff here. There is something called Repel Rings. You can't buy it yet, though. Okay. Is that- I think I just looped around to the zoo anyway. Yeah, I think I did. That black dot to the right of me has to be the zoo. Every black dot seems to be a location. And the big, uh, the bra- The reddish-brown chunks are towns, I guess. And I suppose the black lines are just rail stations for fast travel later. Kind of a weird way to make a map, but whatever. Yeah, that's the zoo. So if I go over here, what's that black dot down there? Um, the two black dots below, uh, Adunk, I believe that's the healer's house, and the bottom one's the cemetery. I can't move my cursor to, like, actually zoom in on them or anything. Where the hell am I now? Oh, Alligator A! I think I have- I think I've entered the zoo. I can take them. If I'm really an American child, I can take one of- I can take two of these. There we go. Suffered 18 damage. Okay. Child is fighting alligators. PSA, don't do this at home. Wait, if we're at the zoo, does that mean I can run into Teddy Ursus? It is a Nintendo game. Although there is the small technicality that Teddy Ursa does not exist when this game released, but why should we let that ruin our expectations? What is that? Let me see if I can get to it. No, it doesn't look like here. I've wandered... I've wandered way too far at this point, haven't I? Life up. 29. Getting worried. Is this the, supposed to be the zoo, actually? Oops, I keep doing that. City Zoo, North, Padunk, South. Then what the hell is this, if this isn't the zoo? Just like a park or something? Hmm. 
No problem, apparently. They all don't seem to have anything to say. This area might be for later. Doesn't seem to be encounters inside here, though. Hold up a sec. Would it? Nothing happened. No, that doesn't work either. Usually talking to animals works automatically. This one looks different. Just a question mark? There's something needed here, but I can't tell what it is. I'm probably supposed to use a certain item here. Canary chick? Hey, maybe these guys want the canary chick for all I know. Hold up. Canary chick, its eyes show sadness. Hmm. Hey, there's a dude there. Wow, that canary is the baby of the singing Laura. All right, perfect. I was on the right track. Will you return her baby to her? Yes. Where is Laura? Okay, one of these is Laura, and I guess I just have to show the canary chick to all of them. Wait. You just missed something very important. <laughs> That's a weird way to phrase that, but okay. Alright. Nothing happened. Oops. Oh, this is gonna get annoying. Nothing happened. Well, one of them is Laura. Hope it's not the one on the outside of the gate. I don't know what this is for, or if it's for much later, but I can do it, so I'm gonna do it. Nothing happens. Nope, oh, come back. Hold still. Hold still! Dude, it's so annoying how they keep moving when I'm trying to show them stuff. Nothing happens. Happens. Come back. Nothing happens. Okay, it has to be the one on the outside of the fence to the north, then. How do I get to that? Uh-oh. Hang on. No, I think give is just for party members. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. Can I even reach? Uh-oh. Dude, I don't think I can go up there this way. Alright, I have to find an alternate route. There didn't seem to be an exit to the gates on the side, right? Just have to look around awkwardly. If I hug the walls, eventually I might find it. Yep. Oh boy. Alright, we're back to Battlelands. Wally, what are you doing here, dude? We've been over this. Go away. You come at me, you get smacked with the bat. Alright. Pro suffered damage of 21. I think he just barely lived by a couple points. I wonder how close I am to level... What level am I? Okay, level 9 I want to get to. I haven't really used Hypnosis. I don't know if it's good <laughs> or not. Actually, yeah, quick question. Because the problem with a lot of old RPGs is that status uh, status uh, attacks, they're either, like, broken or they're complete garbage and you never want to use them. And there's, like, no in-between. Where does Hypnosis in this game fall into? I assume it just stuns them or something? Oh my god. Is there... How the hell do I get down to it, then? I don't know if a how. Bionic centipede? Is that what it said? Alright. It's 
Bionic chat. This puzzle is pretty obtuse, don't feel bad. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Oh, there we go. Don't worry. I'm sure someone will find a way to tell me that it's obvious. Okay, this is a small level up, but I'll take it. Okay, that's good. No maximum PP, though. I'm still at 32 for that. Alright, here we go. Okay. Hmm. Bionic centipede. I'm just gonna keep walking around here. Um... A part of me wants to think that to get outside the gate, I have to go back to that silver statue, the one that has the question mark. I need to do something to it to break it. But I don't think I have anything to do that, so I'm just kind of like going around and seeing if I can find a way to get to it. Little saucer. Alright, let's kill it. Probably should use a heal soon after this battle. I only died once, and that was to a random zombie in town at the start, and that gets everybody from what I understand, so I don't feel too bad about it. Hold up. PSI. There we go. Centipede draws near. This game is confusing even with a guide. Yeah. Games like this, when you play them when they're new, you just kind of feel things out. I think I can go over there and find out. Like, I played, um, Pokemon Gen 1's pretty infamous for not knowing where the hell you're supposed to go. You just have to check everything. And I know where everything is in that game just because I played it a ton as a kid. I had, had the time to do so. Oh crap, I'm poisoned. Uh-oh. I hope this goes away after a battle. I don't see poison listed here. I think I might be fine. No, nope, I'm still poisoned. Um... Does this cure point? Okay, good, good, good. Alright, that's what that does. Uh-oh. Is this where it stops? Map says I'm on the edge. Hmm. Is there no way across the water here now? Because I've just been hugging this left wall all the way, trying to find a way around. That's a puppy. Healing Alpha gets rid of the minor effects. Looks like that's it. Unless there's like an ability to cross water I get later on. Like, I have the chick for that, but... Hmm. Ugh, now I'm gonna have to deal with a bunch of encounters along the way here. Pro A, suffer damage of 32. Let's make a cry. I'm getting so much experience just running around here. You win. I don't remember where the hell I am. Is it even possible for me to return the check right now, or do I have to come back with something much later? It was shielded. Okay. Smash. New PSI power. Yeah, I can. Okay. Defense down A. Hypnosis. I don't see a new one. Oh, no, wait. Defense down and defense up are two separate ones. Never mind. Okay. All right, then. Okay. Do I have to... Do I have to go back to the inside of the uh, chicken enclosure or whatever the hell it is? Because it doesn't seem like there's a way outside to find a path to the one that's um, just outside the gate. Yep. All right. It, it is that silver thing, isn't it? Let me go back down to it. 
May as well do it now, because otherwise it's gonna be a pain in the bat, pain in the ass to get back. Teddy help moment. Perhaps I should summon the help there. Why not? Let me find him. Boop. The help Teddy has been summoned. And no, he's not asking for help because I'm going to eat him. He's asking for help because it's okay to give a hint. <laughs> PSI bear help. Can you help Teddy solve the puzzle? There's just a gator. Welcome to Florida. Take him out. Hang on, I don't need to put... I already asked for it. Got the answer, though, so... Let me do that. It is the gray thing. Yeah, I thought so. So I must be able to do something with it with one of my inventory options. Let me just go back here. That sounds like the words of someone who wants to eat the teddy. No, I wouldn't. I would not eat the bear. The only bears I eat are gummy bears. Here's Wally. So we got a got random guy with overalls and a pitchfork and gators chasing me. I'm pretty sure we're in Florida. comes the crow. Do crows wear shoes in Florida? I don't know. Maybe. My experience is like 8.55 now. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Let's keep whacking them. At least I'm getting extra experience that is pretty much needed. Like, if I were to have gone into the zoo right away, I feel like I probably would get bodied by, like, gators and lions and bears. I hope there's not bears that attack me. Let's have a drink. Probably should use another life up now. I'm gonna have to run back and forth a little bit. 22 PP is good. I took one step. The game roll. Oh, darn, that's even worse. Good thing I just healed then, huh? Oh, nice. A oh, one shot of the tiger with it. Look at that 11 year old go. I didn't see how much experience I got for that. Hold up. Oops. Oh, 908's my total. That's pretty good. Tiger was in the way. I had to take it out. Don't be upset. Alright, I think I just... <laughs> Alright, I'm getting low numbers. Damn it, how are these guys still alive? Shouldn't the animals have gotten them by now? Seven dollars is seven dollars. Say goodbye to your kneecaps. I'm very close to getting a thousand experience now. I see it. Okay, let's go back down. The overworld does look pretty samey, but hey, NES. I'm not sure what this place is. A park? A sanctuary? There wasn't a sign. Wrong way. Can't talk to it. I think I tried showing the canary chick to it. You don't have any friends to hand it to. Uh, what if I check it from, like, the side? Oh! Oh my god. I could have just been wandering for hours and not realized that's what I was supposed to do. No one in chat even said it. I just, I just found that. Can you blame me when every tree in the game doesn't even let you go beyond it? Like, look. The top half of the tree blocks me. Why would I assume I could go behind that? <laughs> Alright, that's cool. Yep. Here you go. Oh, what am I doing? I have to use it, silly. Overjoyed with reunion, Laura began singing. Oh, it's another one of the melodies. Can't blame you, that's legit one of the most unfair puzzles, is it? <laughs> oh, man. 
can actually see the hole disappear when you close windows. Overjoyed with reunion. Uh, Ninten remembered the tune. Hang on, I think you're right. Yeah, when the window is closed, you can see you can see the gray thing, like how it's layered. Look at it. <laughs> oh my god! I, I, can you imagine how many kids back in the day just like stopped playing this game because they had no idea what the hell to do there? <sighs> Man. So let me double check something. I have two melodies out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. I don't know what these are for, but apparently I need them all to beat the game. Hang on, I should stretch. I thought I had to, like, smash it or something. <laughs> the only hint I had that there was something weird about that spot was that it was a different color and there was a question mark when I checked it. All right, I think I should go back to a phone and then go to the zoo now. Because it would really suck to die to something stupid there and then lose all that progress. Level 10, fight increased by three. I really didn't need Pippi for this part after all. She would have just been extra te text in battles at most. Oh, only one HP, better than nothing. Ooh, seems to switch up the how the stat gains work here, but I'll take that. 12 extra PP is huge. I've been at, like, 30-something for a good while. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's break the hippie. Nice. I probably have a lot of money waiting from Dad right now. The hippie scuttle to play with you. Well, it's a good thing I got that tune, man. Back to the bottom. The title screen in this game does say, uh, it says 1989 and 1990, so I don't know what the release thing is. Maybe it says 1990 because that's when Nintendo was originally going to release this? I don't know. In North America, I mean. Hang on. What am I doing? Read the damn sign. Welcome to Pond Dunk. Weird place for an extra path here. No hunting, approaching, canary village, wildlife refuge. Oh, that's what the place is called. I see. Yeah, Nintendo was originally going to release this in North America, but I think it was both a mix of them thinking a Western audience wouldn't like this after all, and the Super Nintendo was like, ah, right around the corner. What year did the Super Nintendo release for both Japan and US? Cause, let me see here. Was it 92? Okay, that sounds about right. 1990 for Japan, 91 for US. Yeah, that sounds right, I think. Hang on. I may as well just go back to my house. Uh, Left exit of Pond, of Pond Unk, go up. There's only Goombas along the way there. Okay. When they were translating it, the Super Nintendo released and they didn't want to keep working on it, yeah. So, I'm kind of curious. That original le leaked prototype for, th for this uh, game's English version, was it actually finished? Or, like, could you, like, like, could you play the game all the way through? Or were there parts that were untranslated that would, like, crash if you got to it or something? I don't know. This path is very short now that I'm used to the large areas. Hmm. It was finished, okay. That is actually, like, a very common thing I hear that happens back in the day, where, like, entire projects would get translated, and they just would not release them, because they're like, yeah, probably wouldn't sell. It would kind of suck if you were on the team that worked on it. I mean, you got paid regardless, but... Kind of suck, yeah. Is your dad. Damn, dad. Look at all that money. Look at all that money. Next level requires 278 for Ninten. By the way, you want to save? I don't have a real second party member yet. Maybe after the zoo. Just like your mom, you never want to stop. Please don't push yourself. Slam. 
All right, game has been saved. PP has been restored. Not at 100 HP yet. Let's go to the zoo for real now. I ended up taking a side trip that got me to, um... Uh, it got me the extra melody. I found the canary at the department store. I just kind of happened to find that. It's nice. Teddy Ursa's food? Uh, no, no, no. Teddy Ursa cookies. I couldn't fit the word cookie after Teddy Ursa. I am not eating bears, I promise you. Okay. The Wii U and Switch version, which is what I'm playing of this game, um... It, it is based on that original prototype, but there are a few tweaks here and there, but I think most of the translation is the same as the unreleased one. I'm not an expert, though. I'm playing this for the first time today, so I could be wrong. Generally, there seems to be, like, some differences with a few ports, like the Game Boy Advance version, which has led to a little bit of confusion earlier. Nobody's fault. I'm not gonna- I don't want to be the one who's like, Oh, you got things wrong about the game, dumbass. Here we go. To the zoo! I don't think I have anything else to really buy in town. Up here. It's mostly unchanged, as far as I can tell. I think there's just, like, the Switch and Wii U version do have, like, some attack. Like, brutal attacks lowered, because they were kind of unfair or something. That's some- I don't know. Maybe. Ah. Okay. I'm one-shotting some enemies here. He's eating the bears. Stop this man, he's gone wild. The Clefas have got to him. We are absolutely not eating no teddies. That would be good. To the zoo, everybody. Let's go see some bears. Hopefully we don't have to fight them, though. I don't want to fight any little bit, any baby bears. Fly A. Just a single fly? But there's nothing here. Oh, he's able to summon backup. That's what this is, isn't it? Yep, I knew it. Oh, boy. Let's take him out. You want to become an experience farm for me? Go ahead, bro. That's right, you become quiet. Like, I didn't just, like, crush him with the bat's force. Okay. Is that a monkey? Eek, eek, eek. The monkey stole the zoo key. Are you serious? The lock was broken. Nintendo opened the door. Is that just the game's way of making sh of easily removing the zoo key from my inventory? Also, the zoo has the, um, the cemetery music. Let's go. Hyena. Uh-oh. This isn't something an 11-year-old child should be fighting. At least I got some extra training in. Grins and bears it, just grins and bears it. Take him out. Okay. I won. How much experience did I get? A little bit. Bunnies! No problem. I can't read the sign. Look at those little bun buns. There's nothing over here. Cages are broken. Cages don't look very great. This zoo has a lot of alligators. Or, no, this is probably Florida, so they're probably just wandering in from the ocean over there. Or, wait, alligators aren't in the ocean. That just sounds stupid. It doesn't matter. Wherever the hell they just chill in Florida. They're, they're coming in. Alright, experience is going over a thousand. Damn, look at that. That was a lot. I'm getting a ton of EXP from these enemies. There we go. All 
right. So I'm supposed to resolve the issue at the zoo, but, um... What do I do? Just beat all the animals. Oh, a tiger just bit me. You know, I'll be fine. Uh-oh. Continuous attack? What the hell you doing, bro? Oh, God. Great. Jeez. Okay, take it out. Goodbye. Really had to do that. Oh. Maybe just have a little bit of that orange juice to save some PP now, because I had to carefully use that. The orange juice is a pretty pitiful thing. <gasps> Bears! Look, chat. Teddies. They're panda bears. Teddies nonetheless. Uh-oh. Hyenas. Teddies are real! It bit me. The zoo animals would absolutely rip me apart. I shouldn't be in here. This isn't a good idea. I should just stay home, honestly. Why is this my job? Flamingos. There's monkeys. Can't get in there. I'm not sure what I'm actually looking for in here, but let's just keep looking. Oh, that's quite a that's quite a few again. Uh, I'm gonna run out of. I'm gonna run this one. Well, so much for that. <gasps> gorilla draws near. That's a very awkward looking gorilla. It looks like it's a three legged creature with a Donkey Kong face. Gorilla attacks. Get me for eight damage. You win. Got a little bit. Looks like I gotta go through this. Hmm. Is anyone around? I still don't know what's going on. I woke up one day, my house was haunted. My lamps tried to kill me. Then I had to go fight literal zombies at the graveyard, and now I'm going to fight animals at a zoo because no one else cares enough to do it. Probably should use another life up. Got 35 PP, I should be okay. I see a big notice up there. Adults aren't paid enough for this. I like how they seem more worried about the zoo being like- the animals breaking out of the zoo than they do about the dead, like, rising. That seems like a more important thing to deal with. One of a kind, see the amazing singing monkey. I don't- Oh, he this must be for one of the melodies. Okay. I must have to find a monkey and make it sing then. I don't think it's this one, though. Let's take it out. Monkey down. Monkey down. I haven't hit another level up, but I feel like it shouldn't be too far off. This is a terrible layout for a zoo. How the hell did people, like, walk around it and enjoy it? No wonder the animals all escaped. I'm gonna break this man. Wow, that hit me a lot. That was very rude, Mr. Gorilla. I don't want to risk missing, and he kills me, so let's take him out. 24. Oh, nice. Fight is increased by 3, speed increased by 2, wisdom 2, strength 3, force 3. A little extra HP, I'll take it. This isn't too bad. Offense is at 41. Damn it. 
Crits hit real hard, yeah. Can I one-shot these guys? Damn, yes. He's just laughing about it. New PSI power. I don't really feel like I could- I have the opportunity to take advantage of, like, the defense up or down stuff. Fourth dimension slip? What the hell is that? I'm assuming that's some kind of, like, attack spell. There's a building. Hope I can heal in there. It's like Roar. It always runs from battle. Oh, okay. City Zoo, Superintendent's Office. This ain't good. It's a present. Nintendo open the present. There was rope. Rope. Uh... Rope. Use it to tie the enemy up. Okay, so it's a consumable for battle. There's a rat! Kill it. Home run. More presents. There was antidote. I guess that's fine. And poison once, but I have a healing spell for that. It's not a big deal, actually. Uh-oh. Starting to think there's no place I can save in here, is there? Better do that. Going all the way back here is kind of a pain in the ass. Hey, a pain in the ass, though, yeah. The ringing sound stresses you out. Yeah, I feel that. I hate ringing sounds like this. You win. You win! Uh, did I go in here yet? I did not. Alright. No reason not to take anything out. Smash! Open the present. There was bread. Well, at least I got that. Feels weird to introduce, like, free items now. There was none of that near the cemetery stuff. There was my basement, and that was it. The rats are dying pretty easily and given nothing. Top floor. There was life up cream. I'm assuming that's a healing item. Damn it. I'm guessing whatever that floating blue thing is, is the boss. I feel like I might be over-leveled for this point, so... I'm gonna go for it. Oh, come on. Fly A draws near. The rats and flies aren't really as strong as the gorillas. And the, um... The tigers, yeah. Pressing B my mis by mistake. The fly tried to run, but I got him. Suddenly, from inside of the capsule, Starman Jr. draws near. Okay. Hmm, I think I might want to save this stuff for healing. How much damage can I do to him? Damage is 17. 17, ooh. Better heal next turn. Trying to PK beam alpha. 30 damage? Are you serious, my dude? Fantastic. 
fantastic. Oh boy. Oh boy, here I am being over leveled as hell for everything and then this guy just shows up. Well, I might be dead here, oh well. Worst is that I just lose half my money, but that's like 60-ish, 50 to 60 dollars, so I don't care too much. So I'm gonna try this. Make a time for this. In defense increased by 27. That significantly helped. I wasn't expecting it to go that much up. All right. No effect on Starman Jr. Okay. Either it missed or it doesn't work on him. It's just one of those RPGs where bosses are just, are just immune to every status effect. So you never want to use them, I guess. I killed it? Wow, I actually won. I was fully expecting... Fully starting to accept I was going to lose there. The odd sound that drove the animals insane died down. The zoo once more became a safe place. I did it. Okay. PK beam skips defense. Damn. So the defense up didn't actually matter for that. Oof. That battle seems like you have to just hope he decides not to use PK beam then, huh? Damn. Damn. Does that mean there's no more encounters here? Well, I did it. I won, clearly. Okay. Enemies have a limited amount of PP. Okay, that makes sense. Good. Oh, the monkey sings now, right? One of a kind to the amazing singing monkey. The monkey sang with... The singing monkey sang with a passion. Ugh. That effect hurts my eyes a little bit. Alright, I got three melodies. I don't think I need anything else from here. I may as well go back to the mayor. Is there anything down over this way? Penguins! More monkeys. This zoo is weird. Bunnies! Yeah, walk on the flowers. Okay. I did it. The zoo is beaten. I guess I can go across the bridge uh, to the north section over here, but yeah, let's go back first. Oh, come on. Snake draws near. Better make sure I'm topped up. Did I get experience for Starman Jr.? I didn't think I noticed how much I gained. At least I can run. Look how fast I go when I just sprint like this. Sorry, chat. Puppy gotta be taken out. The animals are still mad. Did I get money for beating Starman? Well, no, my dad will give me the money I earn. I suppose. Let's go say hello to our local politician yet again. Hamburger. Hello, Mr. Mayor, what's up? Why, if it's not our hero, Ninten? You have tiger droppings on your clothes. I'm pretty sure they did not poop on me. Aha, just joking. Now run along, kid. That's it? That's it, bro? 
That's all right. No, not even a thank you. Damn politicians. Hello, Nintendo. How are you doing? What a jerk. I've heard a rumor about a Wonder Girl. She will help you on your trip. Uh. Well, her secret for later doesn't really tell me much. Well, three melodies. That seems like... I don't know, maybe there's some, another one I'm missing somewhere, but I can always backtrack for it later, I think. I'm guessing now that the case at the zoo is solved, I can head, head across that bridge, but let's head home first. Okay. Through the end. They're just chilling in front of their house because I can't go inside. Starting to feel like the encounters have lessened. I'll cook Teddy Ursa cookies. Yeah, Teddy Ursa cookies. I heard a rumor that there's another party member. Yeah, that was a that was a useful thing. Intend grab the telephone. This is your dad. I've transferred five hundred thirty dollars to your account after the amount you spent. Balance is that much. I don't need that money right yet. Next level requires 271 for Nintendo. By the way, you want to save? Yes. Okay. It's going to take a sleep, though. I've saved your progress so far. Good night. Continue. Never stop. Keep pushing along. Let's get across that bridge now. To the end. Oh, battles. Oh, it's fine. I absolutely slaughter everybody that gets in the way. Stu, you win. Uh, yeah, I go down a little bit to the right. I guess I get access to the next town, right? I go from the top. I'm gonna get to Union Station or Marysville. Let's find out. Now that I think about it, this entire two-hour session, or three-hour session, Jesus, all I've done is explore the top left chunk of the map. Damn. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot more uh, black dot locations after this. Youngtown, LA, Reindeer, Spookane, and Snowman. Those are funny locations, aren't they? Oh boy. Well, let's head over to the thing. Hopefully, Paduck deals with uh, the living dead nicely enough without me. I'm at 1300 EXP. Look at me go. Oh, boy. Only three for the crows. Oh, my goodness. The Famicom version, the map is an actual item, but the NES and GBA, you just have a map button. Wait a second, you're telling me that in the original release, the map had to be an item that took up space in your inventory? Really? Wow, that would, that would piss me off. <laughs> kind of weird that, like, this, tra this translated version actually, like, makes the game a little bit more... <laughs> because of that. It's in Nintendo's basement. Jesus. They try... Remember, this is the... Technically the easier and more convenient version of the game. Oh, boy. That would sound like a pain in the ass to carry a map around like that. Pokemon had the town map, but you really didn't need it. Like, no one, like, ever looked at the damn thing. You could always check it at a Pokemon Center anyway. Well, I guess that's not true for Gen 1. Found a magic herb. Alright. Yes, this version lowers the encounter rate, right? So, how did people play the original release? They just 
kept taking like one or two steps and bam. It's all over. Okay, they're gone. I think the other bridge is still blocked. With plenty of free time, that's how you beat it, yeah. Can confirm, have played the NES version. I found a flea bag. Uh oh, I'm filled up now. I probably should have stored stuff at it, Mini. Flea bag, a bag of fleas and other nasty critters. Throw in an enemy and watch the effect. I should probably use some of this stuff up soon, huh? Can I only store items at, at Mini, or do I? can I do it elsewhere? I suppose I could use this stuff up. Magic Herb just restores health, right? I could use that at any point. I'm assuming so to this, so does this. Use to heal wounds. A lot of these I can just use up, yeah. If bosses are immune, to, what the hell, dude? Can do it elsewhere later on, all right. Good, good. We're probably gonna take a break and switch games soon, but I'm having a good time. If I can go three hours without noticing that it's been three hours, that means I'm having fun. Deep in a cave, there's a strange rock-like thing. So strange, you definitely should take a look. Oh, you're letting me by? So strange. Alright, before that, what's up here? Hang on, are there any black dots? No, but there's a path here, so there must be something, right? Is this just leading me back to, like, where the sanctuary was? I think it might be. I think I've been to this road. Yeah, I think the, that first bridge I crossed where I thought the cops disappeared, I think that's the one where they actually were. Let me go back then. Ninten is getting some walking in today. By the way, why is the game called, these games called Mother? I never quite was clear about that. Is it like, does it mean like Mother Ship because like there's aliens involved? I never really thought about that. All right, let's cross this bridge. Here we go. After the John Lennon song named Mother. Okay. Is... Okay. What's it, what's special about that song? Is there something to the lyrics? About a, about a wacky, quirky world? The series just has a lot of Beatles references. Okay. You win. In the song, he just says mother in a very powerful way. Okay. I guess I'm looking for a cave like the. Yep, here it is. This is very spooky. Wait, a voice is speaking into Nintendo's mind. Telepathy? Nintendo felt this question enter his mind. Who has lost his tail? Something about a sail? Wait, do I need to... I need to... Do I need to go get the diary and use it here? I think that's what I need to do, don't I? Yes. Ah, oh, okay, back to my house. All right. <laughs> All the way back. Maybe I should get back to my house and call it an episode there. That would be a good place to save for the day, wouldn't it? <laughs> I guess I should have carried it on my person after all, but whatever. Centipede draws near. All the way back to my house. 
eight item slots. They're really gonna get in the way every time. Curfew has been lifted, although I can't see why travel was ever restricted. I heard you can communicate with telepathy. Have you heard all the people talking about you? Probably don't need to listen to them. Wait, that's a hint for the rock, but... Uh-oh. Uh, I, I thought I couldn't move for a second. I thought I could move. Okay. Hang on a second. Can I- is he saying I can use telepathy on people to hear their thoughts? Tried telepathy, nothing happened. No, I guess not. So, I can't move here, but I can do a diagonal input to get around him. That's cool. Alright. Oops. Alright, we're gonna go take out the diary and just save at my house. I think I made good progress today. Um, I started... I've got three melodies. Now, quick question, though. Is this as many melodies as I can have right now, or is there a simple one I kind of missed in, like, the town or something? Okay. I got the one from the nature sanctuary, I got the one from the singing monkey, and the one from the music box inside the doll. All this stuff sounds more random the more I say about it. Anyway, let's break a hippie's kneecaps. That's, this is the amount of amount I should have at this point. Okay, that's good. And... Is it gonna be, like, one of those things where, like, you get to the end of the game and you just can't advance until you have all of them? So it becomes, like, the worst backtracking ever. That would suck. To the end. All the way back to my house. At least I have a mental map of this place, kinda... Kinda... Ah, uh, figured out. Part of me, my nose was just itchy. We're gonna have Teddy Ursa cookies when we get back. We're not eating bear meat. Come on now. You win! We're going all the way back. Back, back, back. Snake draws near. At least there's been quite a bit of enemy variety. We're not being too far in the game. Teddy Ursa cookies are just cookies in the shape of bear heads with like little frosting to color it like a teddy. They're just a wholesome treat. Not we're not eating the bears. Regardless of any accidental text. I didn't think it would look that bad. The top. Cookies may be unhealthy for lunch and dinner, but who cares? They're my favorite food. I definitely don't want to miss a bunch of stuff. I'll try and pick up all the melodies along the way if I can. Okay, I made it back to my house. So just so I don't forget next time, let's sort. I am Minnie. What can I do for you? Leave. Uh... I don't know if I need this stuff. It just seems like an, a battle item I probably don't need right now anyway. Same with the rope. It wasn't a key item, it said. Life up cream is probably a more powerful heal, so I'll just put that away. I suppose I could just get rid of bread as well. I think that's just a small heal. See you later, brother. Take out... Great grandfather's diary. Okay. Nope. Alright, so I just have to show the diary to the pink thing, but we're good to save here. I've transferred 242 to your bank account, son. Balance is 2360. Next town, I'm gonna buy the best equipment. Okay. Okay. 
So I think I'm probably going to play another session of this during the week. Maybe Wednesday before Dylan shows up for more Donkey Kong. Um, I might grind one or two levels for myself, but I don't think I'm that far behind. I feel like I wandered just enough and got a lot of a good experience in there. I've saved your progress so far. Continue, just like your mom. You never want to stop. Please don't push yourself too hard, Slam. Okay. Okay, this is good. Wait, there's a glitch with the bread crumbs. Well, I don't- that doesn't matter too much to me. I'm not gonna use glitches to get through anything. Anyways, yep, yeah, chat, you were good moments today. Don't worry. This was very fun. I'm very much looking forward to continuing this and playing Earthbound and Mother 3. That could just be, like, the big thing for this summer, like when I played three Mario Luigi games last summer. Anyways, I do... Oh, Japanese version only has the glitch anyway. Okay. Well, interesting that the unreleased English version fixed some glitches. I assume that some of those glitches were also fixed for the Japanese Game Boy Advance port as well. But yeah, I'd like to do another long session of this around Wednesday if I can. I'll see if I can get this uploaded tomorrow. Whether you're watching this for the first time or you've played Mother 1 a bunch of times, I hope it's been a comfy stream. We're going to switch over to some Purity Forest now. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, have a good night. Bye-bye.